Hi everyone, Peter here. A question I was recently asked is, how can I give written feedback via Google Classroom? Now this is actually possible if you use the Google Classroom Android or iOS apps. And if you're working on a Chromebook released over the last few years, you also have access to Android apps on that Chromebook. So I'm on a Chromebook right now, so I'm gonna head into the Google Play Store. And then what we need to do is search for Google Classroom. And once we get here, just hit the install button. And once it's installed, just press open. And once it's launched, you should see all of your normal classes, which you'd see in the Google Classroom web app. So I'm gonna head into my test Google Classroom and select this recently created assignment. And I can see here I've had one of my students has already handed in their work. So let's just click the attachment as normal. Now we can view the work, but to actually edit it and annotate it, all we need to do is click on the edit icon on the top right. And this essentially opens up a PDF copy of the work. And you can see down the bottom here, we've got some pen tools, which we can use to mark the work. But first I'm going to zoom in my screen a bit to make it a bit easier. And now let's select a pen tool. So let's click this one and change the color. Now this works best on a touchscreen device. So I'm working on a touchscreen Chromebook today, which also has a pen. But if you don't have a pen, then just use your finger on the screen. So let's try writing over the work. So let's highlight this section and say, actually, yeah, let's move this down here. So you can see you can, it's really easy to quickly write and draw on the screen. Let's try out a different pen. Let's change this color to a green. And we've also got a highlighter tool. So let's try zooming out of this section in, into another part and highlighting part of a sentence. If you need to undo any of that, you can either select the undo button at the top right here or redo and you also have an eraser so we can rub out different parts and you also might have noticed we've also got a text tool down here as well so if i select the text tool and draw a box where i want to write some text i can type onto the document too okay and once you've finished annotating the document all we need to do is hit the save icon on the top right and we'll be taken back to Google Classroom. And you can see it's added a PDF copy of that assignment with our extra annotations included. So now all that's left to do is to give that work a grade and then select return. And both the original assignment and the PDF copy will be returned to the student for them to be able to check. Okay, so now the student has had their work returned and they can see your feedback in the PDF copy of the assignment. Thanks for watching this video and hopefully it will save you some time when marking work on Google Classroom.